BTS is the most famous idol group, not only in Korea but also around the world. However, there's a saying that the only downside of BTS is that their nationality is Korean, reflecting the tremendous hardships BTS members have experienced in Korea. Among these hardships, the members of BTS were particularly troubled by the members of the Korean National Assembly. When the BTS members had long been saying that they would enlist in the military, the National Assembly members caused a stir, saying, let's decide on BTS's military enlistment through a national vote. And the media constantly produced articles like military exemption privilege given only to BTS, depriving young people. Eventually, BTS received national criticism without any fault of their own due to the politicians who tried to use them for their own political advantage and the media who intentionally produced sensational stories. Meanwhile, BTS was appointed as ambassadors for the 2030 Expo bid in Busan, and at that time, the attitude of some National Assembly members during this process caused controversy. BTS와 함께 부산 세계 박람회가 세계인을 위한 축제의장으로 불타오르게 만들어 봅시다. 다이나마이트와 같은 활동을 부탁드립니다. At the event attended by the Prime Minister, the Mayor of Busan, and several National Assembly members, the BTS members were awarded with appointment plaques and took commemorative photos. And the incident began during the photo shoot. While many National Assembly members were shaking hands with the BTS members, the Prime Minister suddenly raised his hand, covering the faces of the members. RM naturally protruded his face to the side for the commemorative photo. However, the real problem occurred after the entire photo session. After the event was over, someone took off their mask and headed to the back. It was the Presidential Office Policy Coordination Planner. He grabbed V's hand and raised his arm high up in the air. Unlike V, who looked embarrassed and stood awkwardly, he smiled brightly and posed for quite a while. Even young kids know that it's common sense to ask for permission before taking a photo, and many Korean internet users showed reactions that this politician's nonsensical behavior is so embarrassing and infuriating. And what if it had been Shuga instead of V? It's devastating to even think about. Meanwhile, following such a commotion, BTS, together with Busan City, prepared a concert of about two hours for the upcoming 2030 Expo bid. It was after BTS's announcement of a temporary hiatus from their activities, but they decided to perform as a full group, as a special occasion for the national event as Expo Ambassadors. Moreover, the BTS members had long wanted to perform a free concert for fans, and decided to make the concert, which was held for about 50,000 people in Busan, free of charge. However, a problem occurred before the event took place. At least $7 million was invested in the concert preparation alone, and the costs were borne entirely by BTS's agency, not Busan City or the Korean government. According to research data from the Korea Culture and Tourism Institute, the economic ripple effect of BTS holding a concert in Korea can reach up to $0.76 billion. Precisely, based on a 65,000 seat venue with 50% foreign spectators, the economic effect of one concert was $1 billion. And despite the potential to reap such an economic benefit of $0.76 billion, neither the government nor the city of Busan paid for the preparation costs. It was also incomprehensible that Hive and Big Hit, the organizers of the concert, would bear the cost, while Busan City and the government, the sponsoring organizations, would not support the expenses. For reference, the budget related to the Busan Expo was $441 million, but they also ended up self-funding the concert by spending their own money amounting to $7 million. Meanwhile, following such controversies, BTS's agency Hive released a statement. BTS participated with the will to contribute to the country and society without prioritizing cost issues. We will focus on valuable outcomes rather than costs. Hive and BTS are proud to contribute to the country. Subsequently, HYBE stated that they would cover up the costs with corporate sponsorships and online streaming ads and the rest would be borne by the company. However, the problem did not end there. The government's Expo Bid Committee was found to have sent emails to domestic companies asking them to sponsor the concert costs. This led to criticism that the government, responsible for handling national tasks, shifted the effort and cost to Korean companies and BTS. However, after the BTS Busan concert was all over, another problem occurred. At the time, Busan City distributed VIP invitations to embassies of each country for Busan promotion. BTS 같은 경우 각 나라의 최고 실력자들 가족들이 굉장히 좋아하고 영향력이 있는 사람들이나 그 가족들 올려고 하는 자가 초청을 하겠다. However, after all the events were over, 
It was revealed that Busan City did not even have a list of VIP members from the member countries who participated in the event. In fact, Busan City spent around $7,400 on VIP vehicle rental alone, renting about 20 luxury cars including Mercedes and Tesla. But when a Korean media outlet asked Busan City to check the VIP list, they couldn't even confirm how many countries the VIPs came from or the number of passengers, let alone the vehicle operation log. Ultimately, Busan City, which received 29 votes out of 182 at the time of the Expo host country vote, failed to win the Expo bid and couldn't even verify whether the promotional activities for the Expo were properly conducted. And as time passed, BTS members, starting with Jin, began to enlist in the military. However, the misdeeds of the politicians who tried to exploit BTS did not cease. The 2023 World Scout Jamboree incident in 2023 made South Koreans feel embarrassed on an international scale. Many Koreans were extremely embarrassed as the Korean government failed to properly prepare for this huge festival attended by 36,000 scout members from over 150 countries. Lack of facilities to escape the scorching heat with daytime temperatures reaching 35 degrees Celsius, unclean toilets and showers, and poor meals were among the endless problems. And at a time when global attention was focused on Korea, the government decided to prepare a K-concert, which was part of the original plan, more firmly as a way to divert that attention. Amidst hastily preparing for the concert, a politician came up with a brilliant idea. It was to pull BTS members from the military and put them on the Jamboree concert stage. In fact, this politician asked the Ministry of National Defense to support BTS to perform at the World Jamboree and even left a message on Facebook. The Ministry of National Defense should support BTS to elevate our national dignity by performing at the World Jamboree. We need to fill the insufficient preparation at Samangum with the power of Korean culture for these precious guests. He was trying to exploit the BTS members who had only recently enlisted and to request for them to participate in a performance that was only a few days away, despite the fact that preparing for a perfect stage can take several months. All of these were irresponsible statements, not even slightly considering the well-being of BTS members or if they are able or willing to contribute. And angered by this, Korean armies issued a collective statement saying, it's an abuse of government power. BTS's participation in the K-pop concert at the government's coercive request is a regression of democracy. In the end, the Jamboree incident occurred because the government did not properly prepare, but why should BTS clean up the mess, was one of the questions raised causing widespread anger among the general public, leading to comments like, is BTS a national good? Of course, Big Hit announced that BTS will not participate in the Jamboree concert, preventing the members in the military from being dragged onto the stage. Not all politicians exhibit such nonsensical behavior, but the fact that no one around them stops such behavior and that similar problems continue to occur despite precedence suggests that the perception level of other politicians towards entertainers is almost similar. I hope that politicians, who are well-educated and enjoy the most benefits in the country, will show common-sense behavior that ordinary citizens can understand. And with that, I finish the video. 이어서 슈가님, 위촉패 방탄소년단 민윤기 내용 같습니다. 고맙습니다. 네, 따뜻하게 함께하겠습니다. 네, 따뜻하게 함께 하겠습니다.